I'm Mark Williams for PickupTrucks.com and we're here at the 2013 SEMA show where there is no limit to amazing creativity. Next to me is Jonathan Ward, the main guy at Icon 4x4 where last year, as you remember, we saw an amazing, amazing 1965 Dodge D200 example that, was, that blew away a lot of the people at the show. This year we've got something called the Ultimate Thrift Master. Jonathan, tell me, where does inspiration like this come from? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I've just been since a little kid a detail freak, so I was the kid who'd take apart the clock and figure out how it's made and put it back together and always fascinated by tactile finishes and fabrication and such. So tell us about this. It's a early 50s Chevy. Well, yeah, why so, that platform? Well, there's something about them to me that sort of epitomizes the classic American pickup truck. You know, they sold gazillions of them. They made them with very light variations from 1947 to 53. So between my personal history and my assumption that there would be a larger group of people out there that the truck's in their heart and mind as well. It's kind of a perfect match for Icon. Also, the way they drive stock, no disrespect to GM, let's call them archaic. So it was a really good opportunity for me to do the engineering that we try to do at Icon. So everything about this Ultimate Thrift Master is completely brand new? Everything is redesigned, reimagined, revisited, and rethought. So I did zero manipulations to the shell and the shape and the silhouette of the body, but then the engineering prowess in the way the dash works and modern conveniences and comfort and powertrain and ergonomics and finishes, I guess I should just say yes. <laughs> Let's talk about some of those, okay. those details. Let's start with the chassis. What, what, where's that? Who makes that for you? I, I partner with Art Morrison on virtually all of my custom chassis. Uh, as you well know, he's a god, a legend in our industry. So we worked with Art starting about two years ago on his personal farm truck 50 three window. And we were kind of, for once in my life, quietly developing and testing. So we'd already kind of test mule the chassis in a had track quantified it and really dialed it in before we even press go on this physical project. So uh, we're dealing with independent front suspension, that's a TIG welded A-arm structure, four link rear, we're running a Curry 9 inch in the back, and then we're using the new GM E-Rod, which is something that's been uh, very interesting to me since inception. In fact, we've kind of worked with GM on its development. So the E-Rod basically is the first emissions certified conscious crate motor. So GM handles all the engineering through to the executive order, and for the end user, it greatly simplifies it. So it gives us copious power, but conscious performance all in one. That's good stuff. Horsepower rating? Well, it's 315, I believe, for the, for the base E-Rod, right. but I had a little more fun and worked with our buddies at Magnuson. So we're running an air-to-water intercooled supercharger on top of the 5.3 E-Rod, and we're running about 440 horsepower. It's fun. And I know you spent a ton of time on the interior. I don't want you to talk about it yet. Let's go take a closer look. Perfect. Jonathan, you're clearly a detailed person. Talk to us about what you're most proud of about this interior. Well, I think the, the thing I'm proudest about in, 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 in general terms with the brand is, you know, it's a fine line to do a modern take on a classic. So we're very conscious of trying to not like jump the shark. So there's got to be continuity that's seamless between the innovations and the modern stuff that we integrate with the original aesthetic. So I think with that in mind, hands down my favorite is the dash. It literally started as a napkin sketch that then I took into CAD and then my mechanical engineer is a rock star. And uh, it, was, it was a pretty wild process. But the idea was the original truck had a stamped stainless steel center dash section that, that we do obviously drew inspiration from. But it was literally an ashtray in a glove box with a cardboard liner. So when I wanted to get you know, modern heat vent AC and navigation and backup camera and climate control and modern gauges, all that, we had to figure out where we're going to stuff that without it looking stupid. So we redesigned a panel that has that aesthetic, but it's all CNC'd in aluminum. And then it's on, uh, we use rare earth magnets to hold it in place and not rattle, but you simply tap to actuate and you gain access to the modern functionality. And then the AC vents kind of sneak in between everything. Talk to us about the materials you chose, both in the seats and in the headliner. 
Uh, the, the seed is uh, American bison hide, mm. which is kind of cool. And that comes from a, a really cool microloan program through an American uh, Indian reservation for a sustainable business. The headliner is Alcantara, which is, you know, more modern luxury car stuff. Uh, the glass is like modern OEM tinted glass. So we're not using a film, it's laminated. And then like the power windows, I don't want to have some kind of ugly modern hot rod power window switch. So I redesigned the handles to have the aesthetic principles of the original. And now you simply motion them a half inch down or up to actuate the modern power windows. All right, as nice as the interior is, this is a pickup truck, so the back end is important too. Talk to us a little bit about what the bed is made of and what's inside. All righty, so always love the traditional wooden beds. We're a big fan of the polyurea coatings, but in this case, we just fell in love with the aesthetic. So this is American ash wood bed, and then we have it finished in a marine uh, polyurethane mat that's 360 degrees, so it should be fairly durable as wood beds go. Right. And then in the bed is uh, the new Icon uh, E-Flyer, which is a, an electric bike that we developed uh, with some friends, uh, E-Tracker in California. So it's a high performance, steampunk, funky, vintage, modern electric bicycle. I have to ask you about the backup lights and the tail lights on this truck. We created these LED reverse lights that are a high impact light but low voltage draw and it, uh, it worked out great. And then the tail lights come from uh, Greening, which is a great traditional hot rod supplier and they're good friends of ours. Fell in love with them on their 32 two-door and we just kind of monkeyed with the uh, armature and redesigned them lightly to fit the Thriftmaster. Oh, fantastic. Okay, everything has a cost. What, what kind of range are we talking about? Brutal, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna build five of these and we're calling them the ultimate Thriftmasters for 2014. Uh, we still have a couple for sale and they're 230 to 250 depending on the specifications. So the client has the choice of color, matte or gloss. They have the choice of naturally aspirated or the air to water supercharger and then a TKO six speed uh, or the automatic GM train. Oh, it's fantastic. Jonathan, thank, thank you, you very so much, much for your time. I of appreciate course. it. If you want more on this particular truck, the specs and other details and more photos, go to pickuptrucks.com.